for our 4th of July origami project, start with an ordinary sheet of printer paper. First thing we're going to do is cut an inch off the end. Now fold the sheet in half long ways. Fold it in half again. And then unfold it just to leave the crease. And then fold it long ways again. Or I guess this is short ways. Again, just to leave the crease. Now, with the uh, loose ends down here, we're going to take this corner here and <clears throat> folding uh, even at this crease, we're going to put this point here against this line over here. So you want to fold at the point of the crease here and put this point on this crease here. Now we're going to take this edge and fold it back to this edge like so. Now we'll take this edge and fold it over so that we now have something that looks like this. Now I'll take this corner fold it over Now this is kind of the, the tricky part here. <clears throat> what we want to do is fold this part of the paper over like this, but it's not going to want to fold. Uh, so we're going to have to kind of scrunch it up. And <clears throat> like good Americans, impose our will on the much weaker and defenseless piece of paper and make a nice crease like that. That crease there is where we're going to cut. So we're going to cut right across like that. The reason I like this for a 4th of July project uh, is that it's not only incredibly wasteful of resources as all of this is trash but it also appropriates the culture of another people, so how perfect is that? Open up what you have left, and there's your little <coughs> American star. Now, go around <coughs> the five fingers of the star, and kind of crease it. You want a mountain crease on each finger, and then the valley crease in between. Something like that. And we open it up. Like a nice American star. Or if, like me, you live in Texas, you can do this out of rusty metal and hang them all over your house. So, happy 4th of July.